Okay, this video is going to talk about dividends. So we have a share of stock here. This represents a piece of ownership of our business. And this is a check. And if we choose to pay dividends, which means that we're going to share our net income, our profits, with our investors, we would write them a check for these dividends. So let's talk about this. There are three important dates for dividends. The first date is known as the date of declaration. This is the date that we declare our dividend. It's the date that we're going to set up the liability promising to pay our shareholders. The next one is date of record. This date is going to stop the clock and say who owns our stock on this day. Whoever's owning it on that date is the date of, is the group of people who will receive our dividend. Since people are constantly trading our stock, we have to set a date and a time to choose who's going to get our dividend. So if you're holding that share of stock on that date, you're going to receive the dividend. And the third one is the date of payment. So on the first one we set up the liability and on the third one we're actually going to pay that liability. So here's what the journal entries are going to look like. On the first one we're going to debit a cash account called cash dividends and we're going to credit an account called dividends payable. So we're setting up our liability. Alright, and it would be for whatever amount that we're going to pay in total. Let's say it's $100,000. Alright, on the next date, date of record, there is no journal entry. This is simply telling us who's going to receive the checks from us, who's owning the share of stock on that day. And on the third one, which is the date of payment, we're going to debit dividends payable because we no longer owe them because we're paying them, and we're going to pay out the cash. Okay, so let's look at these accounts. You're familiar with all of them except for this one which is called cash dividends. This is a new account for us. What type of an account is cash dividends? Well, first of all, it's a temporary account and it's really comparable to owner withdrawals because it is the distribution of earnings to the owners. The only difference here is that the corporation has to decide to declare a dividend. The owners cannot choose to take a dividend on their own but it is the same as owner withdrawals. So it's a temporary account. What I mean by that is it closes at the end of each period. So the question is, what is it close to? Well, in accounting one, when we closed owner's withdrawals, that was step four of the closing process, and we closed it to capital. Well, now we break down our capital into two pieces, don't we? We break it down into paid in capital and to retained earnings. Well, we're gonna close cash dividends to retained earnings because retained earnings are everything that we earned less what we distributed and right here here we are distributing our earnings so that's what we're going to take it out of so here's what it's going to look like so to close cash dividends you're going to debit retained earnings I'm just showing you the, the closing entry and you're going to credit cash dividends this is how you would close cash dividends at the end of the period and the reason that I want to bring this up right now is because I want to show you the effect that closing cash dividends has on retained earnings. Retained earnings is a capital account, so it has a normal credit balance. So it goes up with the credit. Here I am debiting it. So that means that whenever I distribute money to my shareholders, I am reducing my retained earnings, which is exactly what I should do because I'm giving out some of my earnings that were retained in the business. So those are our three dates, and that is how we close our cash dividends account. I want to add right here that there will be another video on stock dividends. So just note that this is cash dividends, meaning that we'll be sending out cash, because there's another type of dividend where we actually give out stock instead of cash. So just watch for that.